What is up guys, today I want to make a video giving a huge update on some major changes that has happened with primarily the Eclipse build and also a couple of other things including the Mustang, I'll get to that later, but the most obvious one since it's the title of the video is the Eclipse going mega square. Now before I get to that I'm just going to let you know that I've got a cheat sheet sitting over here that's got notes on it so if I look over there to see something I just wrote stuff down so I wouldn't forget because I made this video once already and forgot stuff so hopefully I can get through this without forgetting anything or screwing up and kind of do it in one take. Eclipse going mega squirt why? Well long story short the ECU that's in at the factory ECU has taken a dump on me not only does it have idle issues now but an issue that I knew of was aware of but it wasn't that bad has become to so bad to the point that I can't even drive the car which you guys saw in the exhaust video that I just uploaded 10 minutes ago as it shuts the ignition off and stalls the car out. And it's got something to do with the motherboard breaking down in the ECU. I've tried every plug, sensor, inspected all the wiring. Everything is good. It's just the ECU has taken a dump. So the car is going to receive a mega squirt. Now I could either buy like a $200 remanufactured one online. I found a few websites that offer them, but they all seem kind of fishy. None of them offer good information on the actual ECU itself. They all have the same generic copy and paste description on each of them which just makes me kind of sketched out and none of them, not a single one I found was specific on whether it's for an automatic or a manual. The only other option that's out there aside from going mega squirt or trying to hope and pray I can find an ECU for 95 5 speed that isn't already bad would be to get one from a dealer. They went $320 for the one at the dealership here and it has a $90 core on top of that. That's a lot of mess, it's a lot of bullshit to deal with just for a stock ECU. The Mega Squirt costs $650, that's with the license included, it's like $590 or something without the software license to tune it and stuff. If you're going to get it, you might as well get the tuning software, you'd be a fool to get it and not get the tuning software to go with it. And if I get it, I don't have to worry about ECU going bad, I can tune it for whatever I do to it, I plan on boosting the car, that's the other reason I'd be a fool to just try to put a stock ECU on it and then try to run an FMU and mess with all that. I would just be a total idiot to go to all that trouble, especially when I kind of planned on eventually going Mega Squirt on it at some point anyway. Plus, if I get rid of the car, I can keep the Mega Squirt that's in it and I can get it like rebuilt or modified or whatever and run it on any other car that I want in the future. So it's not like it's specific to the Eclipse. And it's made, the one I'm looking at is basically a plug and play setup. It doesn't use the same plug or connector that the factory ECU does, but it just comes with a loom or like a wiring harness that you adapt and attach to your stock harness or you can make your own. And that's it. They have done all the hard work, all the R&D is done, they've got everything color coded for you. They, they looks like they give you good instructions for how to hook it up and everything. I don't know if the colors on the Mega Squirt harness and the factory harness are going to match up. But if you've got the harness off, you can pick it apart and look at stuff. Because basically all the plugs and sensors on the 420A are power and ground. That's basically all each sensor is. And it's pretty easy to figure out which one is what in that case. And it's specifically for the 420A. It's made by Simtech Labs. I had never heard of them. And I was blown away by the fact that somebody actually made a third-party plug-and-play ECU basically for the 420A. I did not think that that would be a common enough thing to mega squirt a 420A for there to be an aftermarket option that's as close to plug-and-play as you can get without literally being able to plug the thing in and run it. And they've been making this one since like 2012, I believe. It's been out for about five years. So they've had a lot of time to perfect it. It works with everything, including the automatic shutdown relay and the fuel pump relay and everything that's in the engine bay. It uses the entire factory harness, basically the way the entire factory harness is set up. It's perfect. I'm assuming it'll come with a base map, or since I found out that this whole setup is more common than I thought, I can probably get a base map from somebody just to make the car run and then go from there. And it's a Mega Squirt 2, so I can use the auto-tune feature that they're, uh, I can't remember what their program is called, the editing software, but I can use the auto-tune feature. So if I can get the car to run 
and drive decent enough, I can just put it in auto tune and drive it around. So that's what's going to happen. The Mega Squirt's going to be going in before I do pretty much anything else to the car because I can't even drive it right now. It will run for about a minute if you're lucky and then try to shut down. It cuts the ignition off, shuts it off, shuts it off but continues to open and close the injectors as if it thinks it's still running. Like It's totally unaware of the fact that it isn't running, so it just keeps opening and closing the injectors like it should, but it shouldn't and it ends up flooding itself out. You guys saw in the exhaust video, there's plumes of smoke coming out of the thing. It wanted to die. It's just a mess. I'm sick and tired of dealing with it. And the biggest issue I have with it doing this, like shutting down, is if I'm coming to a stoplight or something and it shuts off, I lose my power brakes. Now, I can stop the car without power brakes. It's not a big deal, but if I'm not expecting it, it could cause issues, especially if somebody in front of me decides to do something dumb right at the moment that it cuts out like I could be in a big mess so it's got to be fixed it is a safety concern it makes it almost impossible to drive I was trying to back out of my driveway like the last day I had it up here before I went and started back out at my grandparents house and it stalled itself out five times before I finally got out of the driveway and was able to force the thing to keep running by moving that was a long-winded explanation as to why the Eclipse is going mega score, but I wanted to explain myself fully because this was not the original plan at all. My original plan was just to run an FMU and do a full eBay budget build. And this build has become a bit more, uh, I don't know what you would say, but it's become a bit more involved and a bit more expensive than I originally planned. And as of right now, I do not have all the money to just spend $650 on an ECU. So that brings me to my next thing is video uploads have been really really good lately i've been at least like one every other day and i've gone like streaks lately like three or four day streaks which has been something i haven't done in a very long time and uh it's been really nice to be able to do that and what allowed me to do that was i made my reveal video for the eclipse weeks before 802 garage had his done because he wasn't able to because of weather and everything else and I was able to do other things to the car in the meantime and get a bunch of videos stacked up and ready to edit to upload, which was really, really cool to be able to get that done so I can sort of make the YouTube happy and upload videos regularly. That's kind of how it works now anyway. So yeah, video uploads are going to slow down quite a bit until I have the Mega Squirt in hand. Once I have the Mega Squirt here and then we install the Mega Squirt, it's probably going to be a one or two part thing. And then once that is done, things will pick up a little bit more. I got a few other little knick-knack things I need to do to the car. A few things that we're going to be doing with Nate's Mustang. You will see that soon. That car is almost ready to run. We haven't been making videos on it. He's been chipping away at it little by little and he lives an hour away and I live an hour away from him and he doesn't have a camera of his own to use but this weekend I think we will be getting that car running and I'll be sure to make a video on that because that'll be really fun and yeah that's basically the first big big update was the Mega Squirt thing. That was something I didn't want to do yet, but it just it has to happen. There's no way I can get around it at this point, and I think it would be way smarter to just get it now instead of spending 400 plus dollars on a stock ECU and then eventually going to a Mega Squirt anyway. So that is that. Next update, my Mustang, the gray one, the one that was supposed to be the budget turbo build for the channel. That car is actually completely gone now. We were using it for parts to put Nate's car together, which was part of the deal as to how I ended up with that car back, and also part of how I ended up with that 2.3 turbo engine, which I still have, and I'm keeping and saving for a very special build in the distant future, like a long-term build way later on. It is completely gone. We stripped it, we parted the whole thing out, and it got crushed. We, When we were taking that thing apart, we found so much rust, and I'm not even talking like this thing made my golf look pristine when we started picking it apart and it wasn't rust in the spots you would expect it had rust on the a pillars the front pillars on the windshield all the way up into the roof like they were gone there was nothing there and that is way beyond my ability and my capabilities to fix and it would have just been more of a burden to try and fix that thing it was served its purpose way better off just being completely parted out and by parted out i mean we stripped that thing clean there was nothing left on that thing and then just getting it crushed and getting rid of it. Oh, that's glorious. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. Uh, 
letting parts from that car go towards other people's builds and let it help other people get their Fox bodies put together, like Nate said, for example. So, Fox body is gone. The Eclipse has kind of taken its place as the budget turbo build, even though this budget turbo build has become less of a budget build. It's breaking its budget at this point. Because $650 for an ECU was not in the budget yet. But anyway, that is that. Mustang is gone. I also now don't have a drift car project, which really sucks. But once the Eclipse is boosted, I will start looking very hard for a new drift project. I may actually pick it up sooner than the Eclipse is done if I find a good deal on one. I know what I want. What I want to get as a drift car is really weird. But uh, it, it may not even be a car. I'll give you that hint. But I really want to get a drift vehicle, especially before the summer's over, so I can run it a few times before the year is over. But the Mustang just couldn't be that car. It would have not have been done this year. It would have been probably not done next year even, because that thing needed so much body work to even be fit to drive. It was just so bad. So, that's the update on the Mustang. The Golf. We haven't really talked much about it. You guys haven't seen it much. The Golf has actually been doing really, really well. Uh, I haven't had anything break on it in a couple of months. That car is the reason that there hasn't been a whole lot going on because I bought that car and it was supposed to just be a daily driver and then I was supposed to either pick up another project or work on the Mustang and that thing ended up drying my wallet up so fast because everything went bad on that car. You guys already have a pretty good idea but I've replaced CV axles, it's got coilovers all the way around it because the shocks and springs are blown, it's got shock mounts, tie rod ends, inners and outers. Uh, we've fixed oil leaks, I've redone the exhaust a hundred times, we've done a ton of brake work to it, we've done a ton of rust work to it, piecing the interior back together, I had to put a new windshield, new hood on it, all kinds of stuff and it just kept emptying my wallet every time I tried to get it done. But now it's been good. Knock on wood again, it hasn't broken in probably a good two months now. It's actually been really, really good to me. I've had a few little things I've had to fix, but it's actually doing really well. The only thing it really needs at this point is it needs a clutch. It's not slipping real bad, but if I'm hooning it and shifting hard and trying to go fast, it slips a little bit before it grabs, and uh, it needs hard lines and brake hoses for the brakes all the way around pretty much. All the rear hard lines are getting replaced all the way from the front to back by a local shop here because I just don't have the means to do it myself and I'm going to put some new stainless steel braided lines on it and do a few other little things to the brakes. I don't know if I'm going to do the clutch anytime soon because when I do the clutch I also want to do timing chains. I want to get a new clutch fork for it, a new slave and just do everything at once so I don't have to pull the trans off again. I want to get new motor mounts and stuff for it too when that does eventually happen so I'm going to put that off for quite a while unless it becomes extremely urgent which it isn't. I've got the Eclipse as my Hoon vehicle hopefully soon so I won't have to be as beating on the Golf as hard as I have been because that thing's just so much fun to drive. And oh, let's see, well, I guess this is sort of related to the Golf and the Eclipse at the same time. The Garrett Turbo, the real Garrett, the one that I just spent $500 plus to get rebuilt, is going on the Eclipse now. Figured since I'm putting a legit ECU on it, I'll put the nice legit turbo on it. The, EB one, the, the eBay one was basically kind of doomed anyway because it has so much half play, but I was going to run it anyway and just send it. I'm going to keep that turbo maybe for like a rainy day project or something. I'm sure I'll end up with some stupid car that I want to throw a turbo on for no reason and it'll end up happening. So I'm going to keep that turbo, but the Garrett T3 from the 2.3 turbo engine is going on the Eclipse. Also, I did find the outlet pipe for the compressor that I was thought I was missing. It was in with all my other 2.3 turbo parts, so I have the pipe adapter for the outlet and the inlet, so I can just put regular couplers on the turbo and not have to build anything. I was so happy when I found that. I thought that thing was missing. I didn't even know it was in the bucket of parts that I bought. But I have it, which is awesome, so I don't have to fab anything up, and that's going to help me out a lot. And that's going to help me out quite a bit when we actually are installing that on the Eclipse. And also that turbo is water-cooled, which is always better to go with if you can. And since that car doesn't even have a heater core, it'll be super easy to hook that up. I want to apologize for how slow things have been. It was 
to a point where it was like one video a month and it was just because I was so busy with a new job as well and it was shitty outside it was winter it was cold it was snowing constantly the golf kept breaking the Dakota was gone which was the primary build and I was kind of just restarting there was a span for like a couple of days where I literally didn't even own a car so to be to go from basically you know nothing to finally have a daily driver and a project back again is really really nice and having a job that I actually having a job and having steady income is nice too because I think some of you guys are aware of the fact that when I started the channel I didn't even have a job when I originally had the Mustang I didn't start this new job until the early part of September so I've been there for a few months now so yeah that's been a pretty big update this video ended up being really long if you guys stayed and made it all the way till the end of the video, go and just type something really weird and nonsensical in the comment section. I'll know what's going on if you made it all the way to the end. Big thank you for those of you who did make it to the end. And if you did make it to the end and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to do that. Make sure to hit the like button on the video. And I hate to be this guy, but I'm going to do it anyway just because I've never mentioned it before especially with how slow we have been. A lot of you guys, I think, haven't been getting notifications for these videos since we were basically dead for nearly five months on this channel. Uh, YouTube does a thing where it just doesn't tell you that we're uploading stuff. Basically, YouTube gives you notifications for channels that you click the bell on or for channels that you watch a lot. And nobody's been watching this channel a lot because we haven't been doing anything. So if you want to get notifications for when we upload a video and you haven't been click the bell below and if you haven't clicked click the subscribe button also click that one and click that like button that's over to your right as well and leave a comment let me know what you think if you're excited about what's going on let me know i like getting feedback from you guys if you have any suggestions for some things that i can do that maybe while i'm not working on a car or modifying anything if you have any suggestions for some other videos you would like to see me do maybe i could do something weekly or something that or I'm not necessarily working on a car, but I can just sit down and talk or do something else. Uh, let me know. I would definitely be open to suggestions for anything like that. Because I really want to have something to do. I feel bad for not uploading regularly. But I just can't with how busy I am and with you know the way things have been in the last few months. But the weather's cleared up. I have a project car. We're getting other projects done. We're finally back in full swing again. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. This has been so much fun. I've had more fun in the last month than I with this whole YouTube thing than I have with anything else in the last few months. This last winter sucked ass. So I'm really glad to be back. And the final thing, I did forget this, and I'm going to mention it now, is you might have noticed the editing quality has gone up significantly. Both the actual quality as far as like how good of a job I'm doing and the video quality itself has gone up significantly. I've switched editing programs. Big shout out to 802 Garage for suggesting the program VideoPad to me. I was able to get that and it is a way better program than what I was using. The program I was using before absolutely destroyed the quality of the videos. It was laggy, it crashed on me all the time and it just made editing so frustrating. And now with VideoPad it's been an absolute breeze to do and the video quality has gone up so much I'm so happy with how the videos look now we are finally uploading in full HD which is something we have never been able to do because of the shitty program I've had a number of people that have asked me why and uh, I still struggle a little bit with the editing because my computer is 10 plus years old and it doesn't like the high definition GoPro footage very much but I make it work we won't be having any more shitty 720p or whatever the fuck it was that we were uploading in before. It's all going to be full HD, full widescreen. We aren't going to have that stupid black frame around the video anymore that I used to have. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. This video ended up being way longer than I thought it was going to. So thank you very much for watching to the end. Like I said before, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell if you want to get notifications. And I'll see you guys later.